Accessible Web, WCAG Manual Auditing. Success Criterion 2.5.2 Pointer Cancellation. In this video, we'll cover how to ensure that single pointer actions can be safely cancelled or reversed. Let's jump in. Success Criterion 2.5.2 ensures that users don't accidentally trigger actions when using a single pointer like a mouse or touch. This is especially important for users with motor impairments or tremors who may unintentionally press down on controls. To manually test pointer cancellation, analyze the page for any functionality operated by a single pointer, such as drag and drop areas, buttons, interactive controls activated by mouse or touchdown events, and for each, check that at least one of the following is true. The down event is not used to complete the action, meaning functionality only happens on the release slash up event, or the completion occurs on the up event and there is a mechanism to abort before releasing. For example, dragging a file into a drop area, but being able to drag it away before dropping. And the up event reverses any outcome triggered by the down event. If any functionality uses the down event alone to trigger an action with no option to cancel or reverse it, add a failure in ramp. And that completes testing for success criterion 2.5.2 using Ramp's Audit Grid and Chrome extension. Supporting points or cancellation helps prevent accidental actions and improve usability for all users. Now it's your turn. Test your site with Ramp's Audit Grid. Try it free for 14 days using the link in the description.